Hi everybody, welcome back to Built Not Bought Campers. And today is gonna to be quick tip day. Yeah, another quick tip. We've had quite a lot of feedback about my quick tips and it seems like a lot of people are finding them useful. Now, we're gonna be working on camper van electrics for my quick tip. Now, I don't know about everybody else, when it comes to doing electrics, I like doing the electrics, but there's one pain in the neck job that really gets me down. And I know we have to use them on some things, and that, believe it or not, is these crimps, your spade connectors, your bullet connectors, and your wire connectors. Now, some items, you have no choice. But if you're coming off of a live and you want to connect two items to a live through a fuse or something like that, or you, it's, there's a lot simpler way. I'm not going to I'm not going to ramble on about stuff. Now I've got a little setup down here. It's very crude, but makes life a lot easier. And if you don't understand what's going on here, you shouldn't be dealing with electrics. That is all I'm going to say. Right. So for our demonstration today, imagine that is your camper van lights and your wire coming off the camper van lights. There's your water pump. The wire that come off the water pump. We're gonna call this your battery, your live, or whatever switch or something. That's your 12 volt supply. Right, like I said, using these crimps, pain in the neck, especially when it comes to joining wires. So most people would opt for using chop locks, which got screws together, unscrew. I've got a quicker method. And it's as simple as these things. You get all different sizes. Some are reusable and some aren't. So when I want to join into wires or join wires together or pull one light, pull two or three lives off of one live point, I use these. They're also good for isolating wires if you're not using a live wire anymore. So let's say for instance, here's your live wire, You've got a bare wire. The quickest and easiest way to isolate that put it in there clip it shut that's not coming off and that's not going to short out on anything and these are used by electricians on 20, 230 volt supplies so these are amazing for what we need them for so i've got one live and i want to connect these up through say one switch or one one live point. So for this one, I'm gonna need a three point connector. And it's as simple as, put your live in one point, close it down. Care for your fingers, because they do snap back fast. If you get your fingernail, God, it causes a pain you wouldn't believe. Now, the other nice thing about these connectors is two different size wires. So, put my fuses through there. Like so. And they're going nowhere. So, if I strip the ends of these fuses, Now, oh look, I haven't got no more threes. So what, it doesn't matter. We could even use this one. And this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points on. So you can put that in there. Let's put it in this one. So your lights goes up to one point. And your water point, water pump to another. Oh, it looks a bit of a mess, so let's explain it. So your live goes into that junction, which you provide two lives going through two fuses. 
which then go to two more of these blocks and go out to your devices. Let me simplify it and do it just on one device. I'm gonna take, them, take one out of the equation. I ignore the water pump, so there you go. The live comes out your battery, off your switch, whatever, you have a switch in the middle, goes into connector, through the fuse, out of another connector, into your lights. That's how quick these connectors work. Now this one, similar sort of connector, but it's a non-reusable. Once you push your wire in that, it's not coming out. And I'll give you a quick demonstration of that. And there you go, it's not coming back out. There's no way to release that. There's only one way to release it. Let's cut it off. Right, so that's my quick tip for today. Very crude, I know with these, very, very crude. But these are called Wago connectors. Now, for me, and one of my friends I've spoken to recently, he said to me, and I say the same, these are a game changer when it comes to wiring your van. It can make your life a hell of a lot simpler than it used to be. If you don't believe me, go and buy yourself some. I will put a link in the description below um, to these where you can get them from. And believe me, they do all sorts of sizes. They do kits with all sorts of sizes or single sizes. I love them. They've made my life a lot easier and a lot quicker. So when it comes to building your van, you don't want to be wasting your time on stuff that you don't need to. Right, so that's it for today and that's it from Built Not Bought Campers. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Anyway, hope you're all staying safe. Hope you're all staying well. Most of all, staying very happy. And bye for now. Mm -hmm.